All right, guys, welcome to the Frank Mansion. This is my place, and I'm gonna give you guys a little uh, run through of what I do all day. The supplements that I take, make you a meal, my pre-workout meal, you know, just a day in the life of what does Frank do every day. So, stay tuned. All right, so when I start my day, obviously, I start with some coffee every day. And it's Tim Hortons, since I know this thing. It's because I'm Canadian. You know, it's gotta be two mornings. So anyway, the supplements that I take daily. In the mornings, Vita HD, I talk about this a lot. I take this every morning, five caps every morning, um, just to get everything the body needs, vitamins, minerals, everything you need, guys, all packed in here to one thing. Definitely one of the most important things you can get. This, this product's not out yet, Kidney HD, health is wealth, guys. And you gotta keep your kidneys healthy, so I've been taking this. It's not out for you guys yet, but it will be out. But this is number one of my number one supplements I take for HD. The protein, the Pro HD. This is the no, this is the vanilla, but the chocolate peanut butter is probably my favorite. But all the flavors are awesome. The vanilla, the waffle, and I think the blueberry as well. They're all amazing flavors. So it's up to you guys. I use this sometimes in the mornings. I'll have this with some oatmeal, uh, just a quick meal. Goes down real fast or after workout. During my workout, always Carb HD. I'm a guy that needs carbs, I need a lot of carbs. And I mix in this with uh, my EAs. And I also take with my gluta, here it is, glutamine. So I mix these two together while I'm working out. This is like my intro workout drink I take. And I also take Ultra, which I don't have with me, it's in my car because I take it to the gym with me every day. Uh, but that's pretty much what I'm using from HD right now. Um, loving it guys, and uh, give it a try. You won't be disappointed. All right, okay guys, everybody always wants to know what's in the bodybuilder's fridge, so let's take a look in the fridge, see what we got here. What I keep in my fridge, Abby's dog food. <laughs> I always have my blueberries, raspberries. I got chicken breast, uh, ground beef, lean ground beef. So this is, uh, this is like heaven on earth, guys. This is my favorite. I could drink this all day long. And uh, Abby, want, you want some? Here you go. Uh, I also have my, I keep this in the fridge. This is my, you know, just my water, HD water jug. Very convenient to have, um, it's 2.2 liters. And the reason I have it in the fridge all the time like this is because I you know, know how much water I drink a day. So I try to drink two of these at home a day and then I have uh, a couple bottles through the day. Like at the gym, I have a liter at the gym. So I'm getting like five to six liters of water a day. So this is just to make sure that I'm getting my water in. So this thing comes in handy. You know, I don't use a lot. I don't, I'm not in and ketchup or mustard or any kind of stuff like the guys. The only thing I'm really use right now is the Nando's Nando's Peri Peri sauce. This is the medium one. I actually like the the one I'm going to use today is the lemon and herb. But this stuff is I marinate my chicken in it and I cook my chicken in this, and it's, it's really good. Puts a nice uh, taste on your chicken, and it's got nothing in it. Barely any sodium, no fat, no nothing. And I use a little bit of soy sauce. You know, when you do something so long, you get sick of it, just like tart. Because I know a lot of people tell me they put ketchup on everything or mustard, like the guy. I know a lot of guys like the hot, the spicy mustard or whatever it is. Yeah, it's. It's not for me, but hey. This is the thing about me and the, and the junk food, because people know I like my junk food. I cannot have anything in my house, because if I do, I'll eat it all. It can't, if I want something, I just gotta go get it, because if I buy a box of cookies, it's gone right away. Chips, you name it. Well, I do have my freezer. Firecrackers, like a popsicle kind of thing. You know, I probably, it's the worst thing I'll probably have here right now. I don't keep a lot in my freezer, because I don't like to freeze my meat too much, like once in a while. I usually pretty much buy everything fresh. Some veggies in there and some salmon that I don't like, that I don't eat. Dorian's gonna show me how to cook salmon because I don't like salmon. So that'd be another day. <laughs> Guard dog. Hey, come here. Come here. Come. Come over here. Come on. Nope, okay. This is, okay, here we go. <laughs> That's it? That's all? What do you want? I'm into Call of Duty right now and I never like Call of Duty. I'm, I wasn't a PlayStation guy because I'm, I'm usually an Xbox guy and I like Halo and stuff like that. A lot of my friends are playing um, Call of Duty and a lot of my friends have PlayStation. So I got in, I started getting Call of Duty and I was not good at it. I'm, I'm pretty good at video games, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, that's the rice. Rice is ready. But right now I'm playing the zombies on Call of Duty and uh, it's actually pretty addicting. No, you know what, I, I do have a Twitch account. I just haven't set up my camera and stuff yet. I think it's pretty funny because I, I think I did a video one day on my Instagram about playing video games and people were actually interested because I was like, <laughs> I get pretty, uh, I get mad. 
and I show it, whatever, when I'm playing. Um, yeah, but and I'm, pr I'm pretty good, I'm not gonna lie. If the people wanna try to add me, it's Wrath289. That's my gamer tag on PlayStation. Not like I don't have things to do, but this, this sometimes is, uh, you know what video games are? And I think a lot more people need to play them is because it's like a stress reliever. Because when you play video games, you don't think about anything else. You don't think about fighting with anybody or money problems or, or anything going on. You just, you're so into what you're doing that it's like you get to relax. I think too, because bodybuilding, a lot of people who are bodybuilders and like that's their full-time job kind of thing. There is free time in between the gym and eating. So it's like, if you um, have some free time, like it's, it's good to pass the time too, you know what I mean? All right, so now we're gonna make the pre-workout meal, guys. This is a meal I eat pretty much two, three times a day. You know, the famous chicken and rice, but this is just how I do it. First thing we did, we got the, the rice is made. The rice cooker is all ready to go. I got this from Dorian. I saw Dorian use it. It's uh, avocado oil. He'll definitely be proud of this one. Didn't even have to ask him, but I just saw it, and I said, I'm gonna get that. People tell you know people who don't use a scale like I never used to use a scale when I was younger. I just just portion I just thought what I what I had by my eyes or whatever you know. Uh, but now it's like I always use a scale for rice for anything. I mean most people do. Funny because uh, some people think man why do you keep doing that? If you're not competing and stuff like that right now or whatever. I was like I don't know it's just a habit. It's a good I don't know it's still the same habit. I still live the same lifestyle when I was competing. So it's still I still like to do the exact same things. I like to be in a routine and uh, make sure I'm still getting the amount of protein that I'm trying to get hit every day. So. This is my pre-cut up chicken, which I already, I had marinated with my Nando's peri peri sauce. This is the lemon and herb one that I like the best. You know, I've never counted calories in my life. I would like to find out someday, <laughs> but I have never really counted calories. Uh, I just always go by the amount of protein I need per meal and carbs I need per meal and fats and stuff like that. Because honestly, my body needs a lot more calories. So that's why, and I have a good appetite, but maybe maybe not the biggest appetite compared to what I used to used to have. That's why I find if I eat really clean all the time, I, I lose too much weight. So sometimes I have to eat a little, do snacky snacks, a little, little little takeout takeout stuff here and there. You know what I mean? I don't eat seven times a day. I eat about five times a day. Probably two two three times a week, I eat something a little bit more flavor. Let's say some of these guys are doing like 400 grams of rice, which is a lot. Maybe I need to get the 400 grams of rice to be like Quentin. No, you know what? I've never been 300 pounds. Um, the heaviest I ever was in my life was 280. But I'm not like a really big frame guy. So I'm like, about, I weighed myself the other day. I'm like, it's still about 240 right now. I really found that 280, I was like pushing it. You know what I mean? I guess it wasn't cool to wear 300 pounds one time, but it's like, I, I think I was pretty big at uh, 5'11, 280. And if anybody knows, I like to have my chicken really small. I cut the pieces really small so there's less chewing. We don't like to chew too much. You know, I don't know, I don't know how people do. You, get, you go to a restaurant and they get a big piece of chicken and it's like, and this huge piece of chicken, I actually have to take the chicken out and cut it up, put it back in my food. So the trick is, with the chicken, the frank chicken and rice, the chicken has to be just about like 90% cooked. Then you add the rice, and then I use the, the low sodium soy sauce. Everybody uses the Himalayan pink salt, of course. So okay, now just dump the rice in. That's something that's important. Guys, I gotta tell you about being a bodybuilder eating, the big spoon. You gotta have the big spoon. Who eats with those little, I don't have one right now. Like I can't eat with a fork usually, just doing something like this. And I can't eat with those little little spoons. Maybe some people like to do it because it makes their food last longer. I don't want, I want it to get down as fast as possible. So this is, I got to have the big spoon. We're gonna have a little bit of nectar of the gods right now. Diet iced tea. All right, guys, that's the pre-workout meal. It uh, went down easy, I love that meal. I probably eat that, uh, that meal probably two, three times a day I have that meal. Like I said, it's easy to make. Um, so we're gonna get ready for the gym now. And Abby's barking because she wants food. She wants me to video. So I'm getting ready for the gym now. I'll head to the gym. Uh, I'll take my pre-workout, train. I'll actually come home after that. I'll probably have the exact same meal again, uh, but I'll probably have an apple with it. That's probably usually what I have. Then it'll probably be a nap, maybe some more games, you know. Busy life, I'm just hanging out with Abby. And uh, you know, sometimes I got some work to do, a little bit of work too, but um, that's about it for most of my day, guys. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, off to the gym.